Milestone's one of my favorite dress shops. I'm sure they'll have something that suits you. Alright. Okay. Good to see you, Akiyama-san. Hey there. I'm here looking for a nice new dress for this girl here. Think you could help me pick something out for her? Of course, sir. Let's see. What do you think of these? Hmm. 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 This one. Thank you very much. That dress is absolutely perfect for you, if you don't mind me saying. You can send the bill over to my secretary, Hanachan. Sorry for the trouble. It's no trouble at all, sir. How dare you purchase something from my establishment? We'll do just that. Please come again soon. That takes care of the dress. Next comes the accessories. Let's play a, vi play a visit to Le Marche, shall we? Okay. Alrighty. Let's buy some accessories here. I'll find something that looks good on you. Okay. Nope, you're not the counter. Hello, sir. Welcome, Akiyama-sama. Looking for something in particular? This one. Will that be all for you, sir? Yeah, that's all. You can send the bill over to my secretary, Hanachan. Sorry for the trouble. How dare you purchase something from my establishment? I mean, no trouble at all, sir. Let me walk you to the door. Thank you, sir. We hope to see you again soon. That just leaves your hair, makeup, and nails. You mind going it alone from here? All that will probably take a while. Just tell the Makiyama said to put it on Sky Finance's tab. Thank you. Meet me over at Elise once you're done. It's right across the street from the Millennium Tower. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Alright, any side quests? Oh, we do have one. Back over at Sky Finance. Ah, that was delicious. Sushi Jin really is the best in town. I guess Shoko-san had some sushi. Why are you walking like that? She may have just failed the test. Let's see what the chef has to say. Hi, welcome. Ah, if it is an Akiyana-san. Hi there. I think you got a call from Hanachan, right? So, how, was, how did Shoko-san do? I have some great tuna today, so I recommend the Otoro. But wouldn't you know it? All she ate was the daily special before going on her way. How much is the special? 980 yen. Wow, cheap. Can I have one? All sold out, I'm afraid. Fuck. But, you know, she was a little off today. She usually only eats uwani, awabi, you know, the pricey stuff. What's going on? Uh, hmm. So I guess she hasn't touched that million in the end then. Wait, what? When Hanachan told me to make her s t told me to make her spend money. Hey, is this another of your tests? Or something like that. Thanks for your help. I'll have to drop by again soon. Fantastic news, I guess. Doesn't look like she spends her million. Okay, where's she headed to now? Yeah, you know, we'll probably run into her at some point. Everyone's buzzing about Forex, foreign currency trades. Why not see how it can make your savings grow? We recommend our foolproof, principle-protected Forex plan. You literally have nothing to lose. Interesting parties are invited to join one of the CEO Forex, uh, CEO's Forex Info seminars taking place throughout the day. We look forward to seeing you there. Ask for the President's Cashback Special. CL Trading Inc. Senrio Avenue, Camarocho. Guarantee of principle. Sheesh. People still fall for this currency exchange crap. This does have the smell, the pungent odor of a crypto scam. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing who's running this dog and pony show. Guess I should head over to Senryu Avenue for a few laughs at some point. Where is that? Alright. Another time, I suppose. God, there's so many that are just like, and you don't know where to go. You gotta come back later, brother. Hey, is Lily-chan here yet? She's waiting in the back room, sir. Right this way. 
Okay, let's get started. Yes, let's. First, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look great. Ah, indeed, yes. Tremendous. Wow. Only the clothes changed. Crazy. Check this before and after. She changed her clothes. Yeah. Great. Why do you look like you're in pain? Alright, part two. You ready? Yes. Good. Now, I want you to entertain me as if I were a customer. A customer? That's right. You've just been hired as a hostess after all. You're gonna be the number one girl here. Man, hostesses really are just like the through line for the whole series, aren't they? <laughs> Me? Number one? But why? Well, as it turns out, I own the place. We managed to stay in the black, but in this economy, well, we're basically treading water. Oh. And that's where you come in. A new face to freshen up our lineup could really boost sales. I see. Um, yeah. I understand the test, but I'm not sure I can reach number one. That's so. Then I guess you don't need the hundred million. What? We haven't even started and you've already decided you can't do it. We should just call the whole thing off. No, I'll do it. Please. That's the spirit. And don't worry, you're number one material exactly as you are. Speaking of, how do you determine a hostess's rank? Is it by sales? You got it. Starting today, you'll have three days to make us three million yen. Oh, is that all? Three million? In three days? Do that and you pass the test. I'll loan you the hundred million yen. No collateral, no guarantor. And if you can't do it, we'll just pretend this never happened, like we discussed earlier. はい。はい。わかりました。やってみます。それではビジネスの話はここまでにしましょう。ここからは俺のプライベートとして楽しませてもらいます。え今から俺に接客してもらうって。でも、秋山さんはオーナーじゃ。オーナーつっても自分の店で遊んじゃダメって決まりがあるわけじゃないでしょ今はただのお客さん。つまり俺が君の最初の客ってわけ。そう、その
Not to be pessimistic or anything, but, you know. Moshi Moshi. Akiyama-san, this is Tanuma from Elise. Lily-san just went home, and I have finished totaling her sails for today. Great, it's been 15 seconds. How'd she do? Just over half a million yen. That's amazing, considering it's only her first day. Pretty impressive, yeah. But she's gonna have to step up her game if she actually wants to pass. True. Maybe you could drop in during her next shift. It might help having you get there to give her some pointers, Akiyama-san. Not a bad idea. Sure, why not? Thank you, sir. See you then. Sorry I'm late. Oh, no worries at all. Nice work today, by the way. Getting used to it. Yes, this was the most... <laughs> I was most relaxed 15 seconds of my life. But... But what? I'm a little worried about how much I made today. It didn't feel like very much. Do you want to know the actual number? If you don't mind, yes, I would. Alright, here goes. Your total for today came to... 500,000 yen. That's... it? Hmm, why the long face? That's pretty dang impressive. No, I know, but that still leaves another two and a half million in only two days. Don't worry, today was all about settling into the job. And hey, you didn't even have a full shift. I suppose. Seriously, you'll be fine, I'm sure of it. Heh <laughs> heh. What's so funny? You're a very interesting man, Akiyama-san. Yeah. You say this is a test, but now here you are telling me everything's going to be fine. What's wrong with that? It's not like I want you to fail or anything. Don't you? Of course not. I want nothing more than to lend you that money. It might be a test, but I've been hoping you'd succeed from the bottom of my heart. Akiyama-san. Plus, I know you're not just going to take failure lying down. Not with that much money on the line. Yes, you're right. I can do this. That's more like it. Just try not to stress too much, yeah? Keeping cool is half the battle. Even though, for all I know, you might die if you don't get this money. Now, how about we enjoy this date? Anywhere special you'd like to go? Um, can I ask you something first? Why are you being so nice to me? Well, because you're worth it. I also have a photo of you, so we're linked in some tangible way that you don't know about yet. I'm not sure I understand. This isn't part of the test, is it? Not exactly. But hey, remember the date we were on earlier? Let's just call this part two. So it is part of the test then. And here I was ready to join you on an actual date. Look, it doesn't matter what it is, just keep me company for a while, okay? Now that's settled, where do you want to go? Hmm, I get to choose? Anywhere you want. Don't worry if you can't think of a place though. I have plenty of spots we can stroll into if need be. Oh, well, there actually is somewhere I'd like to go. You sure you don't mind? Of course not. So, where to? A bar I'd heard about over in the Champion District. I think I'll recognize it once we get there. Yeah? Alright then, let's go. I mean, it's gotta, gotta be Earth Angel, isn't it? I, not many choices over there. Hmm. Is it somewhere in here? Yeah, I think so. Though, I don't remember this building being here before. Really? It's been around at least as long as I have. Probably way longer. Do you think we could head inside? I'd like to see it for myself if you don't mind. Oh, uh, sure. We appear to have ended up on the roof somehow. Wait, I do know this building. It really brings back memories being up here. Yeah. Though back then it was one of the taller buildings in the area. It really stood out. I probably didn't recognize it because of how small it seems in comparison nowadays. Did you used to come around here a lot? I lived here, yes. Honestly, it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Hmm. Those were the days. Sure, I was always broke and lived in a tiny apartment, but life was good. <laughs> That's just me right now, brother. Get used to it. Lily, tell me something. Why are men always so busy looking upward? I'm sorry? That was pretty out of nowhere. They work themselves to death for that one big break, and they end up forgetting the girl by their side in the process. Do you want to talk about something? I suppose a guy in my line of work is kind of biased, but... Whether it's family or the one you love, it's tough to make anyone happy without money. 
men tend to take that responsibility pretty seriously. Mm. We're all desperate to claw our way to, up to some place stable. That's my theory, anyway. I'd be fine without all that. If things just stayed the same, well, I would have been the happiest girl in the world. So you can't, sta can't stand how money changes people, yet you still came to me for a loan. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I never really cared about it before, and now I need it more than anything. Life's good at throwing you curveballs like that. Makes you wonder, though. Why does money make the world go round, anyway? Capitalism. Okay. It's chapter two. You gotta relax. The fucking sweater squad's back. また柴田組か。あんたらも懲りないね。どう。あ。舐めた口聞いてんじゃねえぞ。柴田のことは分かってて喧嘩売ろってのか。そうだ。柴田組のことなら uh-huh. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Who wants to go over the edge first? Hey, come over here, little friend. You're there with the sword. Follow me. Rest in peace. Oh, this guy's got a gun. Oh, fuck. Stop that. No guns allowed. You could hurt someone with that thing. Hey, you. Man, can we just have, like, every fight on this rooftop? That'd be great. Try and get the healthiest one. Just chuck him right off. He's almost dead. You come here. Please lock on to him. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Well, I guess you're going over then. Close. We better get out of here before more show up. Come on. Whew. We should be safe here. Sorry you got dragged into that. It's been an interesting couple of days. It's okay. Hey, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Much as I hate to say it, we should probably call it a night. I'd hate to run into more of them. You're probably right. 
Well, do your best tomorrow, all right? I'll swing by and check in on you if I can. Okay, good night, Akiyama-san. Great! Oh, my bad, it was chapter three. Never mind. In that case, carry on. We're miles into the game. Perfect time for a romance to start. So that's why the Shibata family's been on our asses all this time. Yep. And how are things on your end? Any luck tracking down her eyes on? Not in the slightest. Not yet. I see. Tojo HQ's got the entire clan looking for him, though. I'm sure it won't be long before they find him. They'll serve him up to those Ueno bastards on a silver platter if we don't do something fast. Yeah, things aren't looking so hot. I can't just sit on my ass and wait. I gotta go, I gotta go find him. At least before HQ does. I have to know the truth. I mean, he'd never do shit like this without a good reason. Listen, Kido-chan. Let's say Arai-san does have a reason. How exactly are you planning to explain that to the Tojo clan brass? Huh? What do you mean? Remember, their relationship with the Ue Ueno Sewa has gone sour. But all that gets swept under the rug if they hand over Arai-san. The Tojo doesn't really give a damn why he did it, or even if he did it at all. The only thing that matters is that he's their way out. So what? He just gets to be their sacrifice? Pretty much. But he... Look, Arai-san's a smart guy. He knows this isn't about whether or not he can prove his innocence. And that's why he's gone into hiding. So what do we, what do? We do? Take it. Huh? What's this for? This is the only way I can help now. Find a Rai-san before the Tojo clan or police do. We're gonna worry about the rest then. But Akiyama-san, use whatever money you need to track him down. I've got other work to do and you're the only person I can count on. Akiyama-san, why are you doing all this? Let's just say it's an investment. A Rai-san's worth it. I don't get it. Why do you care so much about a Rai anarchy anyway? Does it really matter? Yeah, actually, it does. I'm looking for him because I want answers. And I'm not taking this cash until you tell me what you're up to. Please, I need to know. Fine. Let's begin a real cutscene. <sighs> <laughs> それでお前、俺が昔ホームレスだったって話は知ってるか。え、まあ、噂程度に聞いたくらいですが、本当だったんですか。実は俺、ホームレスになる前な、東都銀行通銀行で働く普通のサラリーマンだったんだ。え、
金なんて簡単に増やせるって思ってたのにさ元手と信用がなければ何にもできないんだよ所詮俺は他人の金で遊んでいただけだったんだってその時初めて分かったんだえじゃあどうやって金貸しなんてやれるほどの大金手に入れたんですか拾ったんだよはだからさお金が降ってきたのそれからパーッとそれを拾ったのさいやいやいやいや本当だって知らないミレニアムタワーで爆発があってさそこから大量のサスタムが降ってきた事件あ知ってますあおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおだがそんな大事な金をこともあろうに俺は盗まれちまったんだ路上で寝ている隙にな誰にですか町のゴロツキさあの頃からこの町はホームレス狩りとか言って路上で寝ているホームレスを襲うような遊びが流行っていたからな待ってくださいそれじゃもしかしてその時に秋山さんを助けたのがそう新井さんだ当時新井さんは金村工業に入ったばかりのチンピラだったそのチンピラが俺から金を盗んだ連中から金を取り上げホームレスの俺にわざわざ届けてくれたんだどうしてそんなこと新井さんは涙を流して喜ぶ俺に言ったよ俺がこの町を変えてみせますって兄貴俺はその時誓ったんだもし俺がこの100万円でのし上がれた時はこの人にかけてみようってかけるああこの人ならカムロジョってサルヤマのボスになれるかもしれないって思ったんだカムロジョってのは弱いやつから強いやつまでいろんな連中が集まってくるいわば一つの群れみてえな場所だだが集まってくるやつらには一つだけ共通してることがある何ですか有名だよカムロ町に飛び込んだ人間は皆必ず夢を見てる夢いい女を抱きたい金持ちになりたいえばりたいどんなちんけなもんであってもここに集まる連中には皆それぞれの夢があるだがその夢を叶えられるやつはごくわずかだそして人は夢を諦めない生きてくのに必要なもんだからさわかるかはいみんな夢を見続けていたいだからこそこの町では人に夢を見せられる人間が求められているんだそれが新井の兄貴だとああ良くも悪くも人間ってのは強さに憧れる新井さんにはその絶対的な強さがある俺はそう思ってんだボスがいない猿山は機能しないこの町は今強いボス猿が必要なんだカムロショって町は今までずっとそのボス猿を極道に求めてきただが桐生一馬というカリスマが去った今ボス猿となれる人間はいない機能しなくなった町から猿は去っていってしまう強いボスザルを求めてななんか深い話っすねまあちょっと回りくどい言い方だったが要はそれくらい俺は新井さんにかけているってことだわかりました俺秋山さんの夢のためにも新井の兄貴を必ず見つけますこのお金はありがたく使わせていただきますおう何か分かったら俺に連絡してくれはいただいまあ井戸さんあどうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、どうもすあっ、ど
You've got debts to collect. Hmm? Did someone have a deadline today? Today! Try three days ago. People don't pay on time unless you remind them. What if they skip town? Alright, alright. So, uh, who are we talking about again? The owner of Marimba. That, cha that bar in the Champion District. Now go collect that payment. Marimba. Right. Ugh, you promised you'd take care of it on time. But you went and blew it off like always. Did I? Well, there's no time like the present, right? Just make sure you actually go this time. Yeah, yeah. Such drama for something so insignificant. Akiyama-san, this is Tanuma from Elise. Hey, Tanuma, what's up? Lily showed up for work. If you have time to spare, you should come give her some pointers. Right, okay. Be there in a bit. Great, we'll see you soon. Hanachan's not gonna like this, but I better pop by Elise for a minute. Ah, well. That lasted long, didn't it? Hey, I'm here to train Lily Chan. She in? Yes, sir. She's waiting in the back room. Oh, before you go, here are the funds we've set aside for her training. Please limit your spending on her to this alone. Guess I don't have much choice. Good idea keeping this separate from the club's finances, though. Tight. I'll also assign, assign Naoki to you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, sir. I'll help however I can. Sounds good. Now then, let me show you to the back room. Please pick out an outfit for your hostess. You can choose different types of clothing, makeup, and other items. There are only a small number of choices available to you at first, but you'll get more as you go along. However, getting new clothes or accessories costs money. Do your best to get by on the funds that we gave you. At our club, our girls go out on the floor to maintain customer re entertain customers three times during their workday. There's a short rest period between each shift. During this time, you can adjust her outfit or provide additional training. We'll talk more about training next time. Great. What options have we got? Hmm. Hmm. This looks like sleepwear. Oh no. That one. Definitely. Makeup. Oh Christ. You know, it's okay. She looks great. You know, it, she looks great. There's no need to worry about the makeup. Earrings. Definitely the big boys. Okay, only the two we got. Rings. Holy shit. Now that's a mama. Heart. Watches. Definitely that one. Bracelets. That one. Finish. We've gone slightly over budget. <laughs> <laughs> what cost that much money? Was it the ring? Oh, fuck. Those are a lot. Jesus Christ. Uh, these, those are dirt cheap. What the fuck? The watch? Yeah, it's mostly the watch. I see. This one, then. Still slightly over. These are all flat? Okay. Whatever. Take that one out. There we go. Perfect. Well, don't look too happy. Jesus. Fantastic. I don't know if anything moved. Stats. Yeah. Let's go to the club. Looking good. You think so? Of course. Now go get them. Okay, I'll do my best. Get a feel for your customers' preferences by walking around the club, then return to the break room and coordinate your hostess to fit their ideal image. Guess I should take a stroll around the club. Alright. Gentlemen. Who we got? 
Lily Chan has a ton of customers requesting her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Head, tiny head, okay. If, if you say so. I don't feel like that really accomplished very much, but whatever you say, boss. Done with your inspection? Let's talk strategy. What would you like to know about? Oh, fuck. Tell me about my current mission. Oh, yeah, I know that. Procedure? Can you remind me how this works? The way our club works is fair. You gotta pick, a, pick up with the customer vibe and use that information as Bruce Lady. Yep, do that three times, okay. Our revenue depends on how entirely how our guests perceive their time here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about it surveying the club. Basically, you'll be walking the premises and getting a feel for the clientele. It should be easy for you to tell what type of hostess they're interested by the mood they're in the mood for just by listening. Some customers go slowly for appearance, others prefer a certain area of efficiency, a service stat, if you will. The takeaway is that our customers won't always want the same thing, that's what makes inspection critical. Moreover, our customers might have multiple preferences, so it's important to decide which preference to prioritize, as we as we as well as take other, more subtle factors factors into consideration. Tell me about coordination. So, you can have the girls customize their clothes, makeup and accessories, and other things to give off a particular vibe. Of course, items and makeup have already been provided for the club, by the club are free to use. Anything else you'll need to pay up front, I'm sure that goes without saying. And again, this should be obvious, any expenses we incur will be deducted from our total club revenue, rightfully so. Clothes and accessories can be swapped out over and over again, but please be aware you'll have to pay each time a hostess gets the hair or nails done. Beauty's not cheap. However, mixing and matching certain clothes and cosmetics can lead to surprising results. I guess you'd call them bonus effects? Anyway, try as many combinations as you can. I've even heard some people say that the most expensive accessories can, even, can improve a girl's mental state. Pretty intense, huh? Oh, and you can use the dress-up menu to save any cool combinations you come up with. If you find a certain outfit that you like a lot, save it, then you can put it out more quickly later. Okay. Tell me about training. Training is what you need to guide these girls to great due to the guide these girls to greatness. Basically, training adjusts a hostess's service stat. Looks, smarts, charisma, motivation, and stress. I'm not sure stress and motivation are service stats, really, technically speaking, but... Customers may demand different things out of a hostess depending on their preferences, so be sure to train them frequently, that way they can handle the job. Also note that repeating the same training may not be very effective. They get bored rather easily, understandable. Hostesses are only human beings, you know. They get stressed just like the rest of us. And trust me, you don't want that. Alright. Tell me how to make my girl number one. Well, first you'll need to clear the missions you're given. You may run into some trouble, so you'll need to solve any problems that crop up. And finally, raise her attributes to incredibly high levels. They all need to reach S rank. Oh, is that all? I hear that once a girl's attribute reaches the highest rank, it'll never deteriorate. Of course, sales are what's all about in the end. You'll need to make at least 150,000 yen if you want to stay in the green. If you do that, you'll get your girl to number one, no doubt about it. Good luck. Understood. Alright, will I learn anything if I try this again? No, understood. Right, um... This is kind of the same thing. Uh... We, we already did that. Um... Now I have to watch this again, even though I didn't actually do anything. Okay. Yeah. Go, go to the club. Fantastic. There's a ton of customers requesting her. So, so true, King. Oh, I like my girls refined and classy. 
I guess it being in the end, looking like a girl of culture. I guess the ambient speech would make sense. My eye just kind of ignores it. All right, we want refined and classy. She's already refined and we have no money really. So, you know, back and we go. My eyes just glaze over the ambient speech because it's never anything particularly important. Yep, she's already all as refined as we're getting right now. Mm-hmm. Nothing like a girl with culture. A fine visage. And a, and a hint, just a smidge, a slight sprinkling of debonair. Thank you. I'll contact you later about the results. See you next time. Great. That was a very engaging minigame. That's no club sunshine, I'll tell you that much. Now that's settled. It's time to play Marimba a visit, little visit. Just gotta stroll over to the champion district. Any side quest activity? Nope. Okay. Marimba. This is the place. Hmm. It's locked. Anybody home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. Huh. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Huh. Drama queen. This is the place Lily said she used to work. Hello. Hey, cutie. You into that sort of thing? I'm sorry. You were taking a mighty long look at drama queen there. So what if I was? <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. You know what that's... You know that's an Okama bar, right? Yeah. Heh, what am I saying? Of course you do. No comma bar. You serious? Mm-hmm. And you looked awfully interested. Just saying. Don't worry, though. I'm not judging. Then why did you bring it up in the first place? I'm not gonna lie, it sounded like you had a judgmental tone. Oh, it's not like that. It's just... I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates real girls. Damn, that is pretty cringe. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded guy in the world, huh? Nope, but hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one in the house. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to take you guys good. I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Things to do, places to be, you know, maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, hot stuff, I'll be waiting. Oh, I love overused stereotype. Drama Queen's no comma bar, huh? Why would Lily lie about working there? Maybe I should head inside. Um, hello? <laughs> you don't mind if I come into the staff area, do you? What the? Um... He's... He's dead. He's exceptionally dead. Must have been like this for a few days now by the smell of it. Um... The Shibata family crest. I guess that means the owner was in cahoots with the Shibata. Well, the thing is though, it seems so conspicuously placed. Like, it's like somebody wanted you to see that. You know what I mean? It reeks in here. He's probably been rotting for a while now. It's great. Um, why though? Uh, what was I examining? There's a lot of blood. Nothing but a stain on the floor now. Okay. I just feel like I'm missing something. Really? <laughs> okay. Lighters with the bars they aim on it. They probably hand them out to customers in the hopes that other people will see it. Viral marketing or whatever. These are just like the one... These are just like the one Lily-chan had. Is that everything? Oh, I... I just didn't read that. But he's like, yeah, you know, whatever. So why the fuck is this guy dead? This seems like a really random murder. 
Drama Queen's manager is dead, murdered, and a few days ago by the looks of it. He was practically naked, too. Just like how Kiyo-chan found all the Kanemura. Was it the same killer? Maybe someone from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I got places to be. Sorry. Aw, oh, you're no fun. Okay. Sticking around here will just land me in more trouble. Need to get back to Sky Finance. I hate to break it to you, bro, but you got your fingerprints all over everything in there, so it's too late for that. あ、ちょっと花ちゃん、大変だよ。花ちゃん。花ちゃん、しっかりしろ。花ちゃん、お帰りなさい。一体何があったんだ木戸さん、ごめんなさい。ちょっと買い物に行ってて。あ、すいません。勝手にお邪魔してます。はあ。社長、今ちょっと取り立ての仕事に出かけちゃってて。あ、でもそんなに長くはかからないと思うけど。お
Better start looking for leads on Midori Kawa. Oh, man, oh, man. The perfect shot so close I can almost smell it. Or did I forget to wear deodorant? You there! Did you see those tough dudes flashing their muscles like it's nobody's business? Nothing quite as dangerous as a thug with something to prove. But hey, that's what Kamurocho's all about. The glitz, the glamour, the gigantic guys shaking down passerby. Not that I like that last part. Tough dudes. Maybe he knows about Midori Kawa. Hold on there, buddy. Think we can talk for a sec? Take your time. Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? Of course not. I love talking to washed up porn stars. I'm Mac, photographer by trade, observer of humanity at heart, and I mean all of humanity. Right. And sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a money lender. I run a place called Sky Finance, right over there. We're literally on top of it. The name's Akiyama. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about before. You sure thin, Slick. These scary looking dudes were filing down the street one after the other, like the world's least cheerful conga line. Wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Right. Back up a sec. Sensible boots? You mentioned something about a shot, too. Do you take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? These aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for the photograph to end all photographs. The perfect shot. Uh-huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's in a, in a dang marathon. Akiyama-san, have you ever been... Have you ever seen a sight so incredible? It made you realize something about the nature of the world. Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call those revelations a flash of inspiration, a spark in the old noggin, a rush of idea juice flooding your mind. Mmm, idea juice is so good. Yeah, that definitely never happened to me before. Then maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot, I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, about those tough dudes you mentioned. Hold up! The greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, but I'd rather just hear about... Then it's settled. Come on, it's hunting time. And we're hunting the biggest game of all. Art. Guess I'm just gonna have to put up with this nut job for now. Don't look now, Akiyama-san, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on that roof over there. Something's up with that lady, and you're gonna snap a shot of whatever it is. All you gotta do is whip it out, your phone I mean, and etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. I wasn't considering that until you brought it up. My phone camera, huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. You can do yeah, 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 yeah. There's something of interest in yeah, yeah, yeah. When look is displayed in the top right of the first person mode, you change okay. Let's take out his cell phone. Press the buttons displayed on the screen. Right. For all enters you'll receive a multiple choice question. Select the correct answer. I remember this, yes. Just ask me if you're shooting in the dark, and I can recite all, recite all that to you verbatim. Really, every word will be exactly the same. I bet it will. Alright. Um. Sorry, how do you... How do you go into the first person? I did not want, did not want to talk to you. Ah, there we go. Save. 
Oh no. That's why I fucking love Yakuza, bro. Uh, those bounds and leaps were something else. Yakuza is such a good video game series. I'm so glad Yakuza is real. <laughs> God damn. Oh, wouldn't life be significantly darker if we never witnessed that? I think so. Hey Mac, is this the kind of ma mail you want? Man, they re there really are some perverted freaks in Camarocho. But I was able to unlock a new technique from his movements. They were almost a work of art. It's a revelation. You're damn right I did. Wowie, Akiyama-san, you really did it. You, you caught the fucking Batman of panty snatchers. I think I'm ready to let my photographic prodigy out into the wild. <laughs> Guess that means old Mac is, em is an empty nester again. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot, okay? It'll be like I never left. Anyway, think you can tell me about those guys you were talking about oh. before? Oh, right. It totally slipped my mind. I saw them clamber down the stairs and head out onto Tenkaichi Street. But I lost sight of them after that. Hard to see through all the buildings, you know. Tenkaichi Street. Got it. That's not much of a lead, but at least it's something. Thanks for the info, Mac. You got it, Akiyama-san. May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. Isn't Tenkaichi Street the one that's directly outside of our building? I need to find Kido-chan in our client registry, but I have no idea where Midori Kawa guy went. Better start asking around. Isn't, like, isn't this Tenkaichi Street? Yeah, so you told me literally nothing. <laughs> you, you told me actually zero information. Of course they went through Tenkaichi Street. There's nowhere else for them to have gone to. <laughs> Whatever, man. Looking for that perfect shot, then have I got the newsletter for you. This week brings two beauties. First up, we have a kidnapper who's taken to the rooftops. You can also see a sexy detective facing off against the kidnapper in question. Definitely a sight to see. And for number two, number two a married couple wages a bitter war in Little, a Little Asia that would shock a kung fu action star. I just can't get enough. Understood. We'll probably find them at some point. <laughs> 